welcome Pokefans to a brand new playthrough of the probably best Pokemon Fusion game that's ever been made, Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I'm not really a big fan of these sort of Fusion games but looking at this it just looks too good to not play. I was going to try and do just dragons only but a lot of the dragons are stuck to like further in the game so we'd, we'd literally have no Pokemon. So maybe that will be something that I'll look to do later on in the game. But yeah, let, let's just get into it. So before we start, let's just check settings. Um, default movements. All looks good to me. And new game. Oh, application. Okay, then let's type in our name. So Pokéhex. Submit. Why have I got to do all of this again? Don't quite. Un oh, there we go. And so I was pressing the button; it just weren't working. Right, messages. Games difficulty, um, we'll just play normal, normal game type, and yeah, we'll have auto save on just in case. You can modify these settings in options, and we'll go far one. So, Silco is now proud to announce the new product that will revolutionise Pokemon battling, introducing DNA splicers. This revolutionary new, de new device extracts the DNA of two Pokemon and combines them to create an entirely new species. Uh, so we're going to get a uh, Gengar and Nidorino fusion. Select any two Pokemon, use your DNA splices on them, and just watch the magic happen before your eyes. This could actually be a reality in the Pokemon world, with them DNA things. Fused Pokemon can learn moves from both halves, which gives them an edge over regular Pokemon. And you can now try it on your very own Pokemon. DNA Splicers, now available for purchase at every Pokemon. Coming to store near you, that's what it should have said. <coughs> okay, so this looks like it. I think it's basically like a Kanto playthrough, as in story, but obviously with just fusions. So here we are in our little room. Um, have we got a potion? I don't know what's going on here, why it keeps messing around. Maybe I'm going to have to look at sorting my controller at another point. But let's get into it. So. Withdraw item, potion, every fan game seems to have that in place, check the bin, nothing there, Pokéhax, we received a letter for you, it's from the Pokemon League, here open it, dear Pokéhax, we are pleased to announce that your Pokemon League application has been accepted, you are hereby recognised as an official Pokemon trainer. You can now earn badges to take part in the Pokemon League Challenge. You will find your trainer card attached to this letter. We wish you the best of luck. The Pokemon League Admission Board. Once we've got our trainer card. So what did it say? They accepted your Pokemon trainer application. Pokéx, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Oh, isn't that boy next door receiving his first Pokemon today as well? I overheard Professor Oak talking about it. Hmm, what is that name that everyone calls him again? Um, yeah, we'll just stick with Blue. Oh yes, that's right. Well, I'm sure that you and Blue will have a ton of fun on your Pokemon journey together. Well, that's it, dear. I'm not holding you here any longer. Go have fun in your adventure. Who's this? It's awesome that you're finally becoming a trainer, bro. And we got a sister. That's different. Oh, here he is. Yo, Pokéx. Guess who just got accepted as an official Pokémon trainer? That's right, me. Uh, you got a letter too? 
surprised they let you in, I assume they had higher standards. Well I guess there's no point in bragging about mine now then. Anyway, Gramps told me he's going to give me my first Pokemon. He went to Radiant City to run an errand, but he told me to wait for him at the lab. See ya. To be honest, I can't really remember how you kick start can turn out. Do you just go to the lab or... Is it a case of... No, it's definitely not going to the lab. I think you have to go up to the route and then he appears. Pokeaxe. Careful, I stopped you just in time. There are hostile Pokemon that way. It's dangerous to go without a Pokemon. Speaking of which, I almost forgot. Isn't today the day you're supposed to receive your first Pokemon? Come, follow me to my lab. I'll be better to talk to you there. I like the sprites for um, Blue and Professor O. It's time for you to, to set out on your journey. Go and grab your Pokemon off the table. No fair, what does Pokex always get to pick first? You'll get one too, Blue, be patient. Um, and I think it's just normal Kanto starters. Yeah, so we'll just go Charmander. Because I have seen um, a Dragon Fusion with Charizard that looks really good. And I'm not sure how you get the rest of the starters. Well, Gramps just got me one of those new DNA splices they were talking about on TV. So I guess I'll take the other two and try it out on them. What? Ah, yes, DNA splices are used to combine the DNA of two Pokemon together to create an entirely new species of Pokemon. Works on every Pokemon, of course. I would give you some as well, Pokex, but fortunately, this is my last pair. Good luck in your journey. But that's not fair. Not so fast, Pokex. Let's have a bout see how much stronger a Pokemon gets when it's fused with another one. This is definitely not fair. Okay, we've got a speed up button as well. And squirt saw. Just keep scratching. Always works in the original games. Uh, we've got a crit as well, perfect. I don't believe it. How can my cool fused Pokemon lose? Anyway, I'm off to collect gym badges. Smell you later. Pokecats, before you leave, could you please do me a favour? I need you to pick up a parcel of Viridian City's Pokemon for me. Just down the road, but I forgot to pick it up earlier. I mean, what was he doing when he in Viridian City just? People at old age, eh? Yeah, Kanto looks nice. Nice bright work. And um, let's head along and greet one. So you got your standard Rattata. Hi, I work at Pokemon Mart, it's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. And of course, he gives us a potion. Let's quickly just zip to, um, we should have a Pokemon battle. I was not expecting this to be a trainer battle. Normally these are just NPCs. She's just got a Pidgey though, so use an Ember. Okay, so this is definitely different. And you can find fusions in the wild. Pigella. It's not that's something I wouldn't mind catching actually. Orenberry. So maybe that's what we'll do going forward. We'll just try and catch fusion Pokemon. Where we go in, not that way. Should have guessed it'd be where all the grass was. Might as well take you out because I think we're close so we can heal up. That'll take us up to level 8. And here we are, Viridian City. So let's heal up first. Oh, 
Pokemon centers are so convenient for trainers like me. They heal all your Pokemon completely and don't even charge you anything. Have you seen the Pokemon Spearow? I'll trade you my Bell Sprout for it. Um, sorry, mate, I haven't got one. Fusing Pokemon is a lot of fun. You can learn all sorts of things about it at the Pokemon Academy. I'm assuming we can't go this way. There we go. You're a trainer, right? You should go to the Pokemon League, test your abilities. Pokemon Academy, should we see what's actually here? I know we're supposed to be collecting, doing the job for Professor Oak, but oh well. Kadabra, Machoke, Quantum and Gravel are normally evolved by trading, but apparently they'll also evolve without having to trade them if you can get them up to level 40. But I bet you'd have to be an exceptional trainer to pull that off. Hmm, so Clefairy's a fairy type Pokemon, interesting. Okay then, so fairies in the game and trade evolutions looks like you just level them up. That's pretty cool. Hi, welcome to the Pokemon Academy. Would you like to learn about Pokemon Fusion? Okay, you can literally just ask her anything. That's pretty, pretty useful. What about this book? Nothing. There's a wiki for this game, look it up online. A few Pokemon learns moves from both Pokemon, isn't that great? Learning stuff is boring, I just want to battle. I mean, I gotta take my hat off to whoever made this game because having that many like different types of fusion is just absolutely crazy. Parcel from Professor Oak, yes of course, I've got it right there. As part of a special promotion, we're giving out free DNA splices with every parcel delivery, so here you go. Ah, we got our first DNA splicer. But yeah, like, think of the work that it needs to go into making sure that every Pokemon that few can fuse has, like, the right ability, learns the right moves, like, I'd imagine it would have been a hell of a lot of work. go this way jump down here normally it's just you jump load jump loads of ledges right then let's go and give this to Professor Oak oh Pokeaxe how's my old Pokemon doing well, it seems to like you a lot what you have some for me of course we have we just you asked us to get your parcel ah uh, this is custom Pokeball I ordered thank you and I can see they gave you some DNA splice as well how convenient but of course you'll need a second Pokemon before you can use it. Here, I'll give you some Pokeballs so you can catch some Pokemon to try it on. You can always unfuse your Pokemon if you don't like the result, of course. There's also another thing. I forgot to give you your Pokedex before you headed out earlier. I already gave my grandson his before he left. The Pokedex automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. There are now over 175,000 species of Pokemon thanks to Pokemon Fusion, so I cannot possibly expect you to complete it. You should still try to catch as many different species as you can. Now go, your journey to the Pokemon League starts now. That's something 175,000 Pokemon, and you've got to um, do all the like work for that. Like That is a hell of a lot. Ooh, Mon Junior, that's not really something you normally expect to see. Catch this. Uh, why have I just done that? I just saw the P and O and was like, yep, yeah, Pokeball. Okay, so we've got another member of the team. I like how it's gone dark all of a sudden. And then straight up here. Nah, I'm not even messing around with Rotator. Um, can we buy anything from the... Oh, there's two people here. Hello, how can I help you? Uh, you sell gems and other balls. And you sell DNA splices, that's interesting. Let's buy four of them. Buy six more Pokeballs and spend the rest on potions uh, 
and then carry on. I managed to get Grandpa to go home, he's doing much better now. Although actually no, we need to go to the left. Because this should be a train battle. With um, Gary again. Check this out, I thought these two Pokemon have fused them together using DNA splices. Who have you thought? A Speargy. Oh, uh, Spear and Pidgey. Level 7 though. I lost. Of course she did. Torch trainers after battling, they'll often offer to have a rematch or to trade you some of their Pokemon. Others will just give you freebies like this. Ah, that's a pretty cool thing to add. We've got a Petcha Berry down here. It looks like there's another trainer battle up there as well. A hoot Hoot. This is good. Yeah, I thought there'd be an item here. Got a potion. Hey, are you going to the Pokemon League? Um, I don't think they're going to let us through yet. Young Stem or Starfer. And we got Burn, that's brilliant. Ratpy. Oh my god, that looks actually quite good. I don't know how, but it does. That's a Rattata and a Caterpie. Fortunately we're going to have to burn it though. Not bad at all for a beginner. I don't think either of us is ready for the Pokemon League right now. Here you can have these, my Pokemon are fine so we won't work on them. I've got some potions. Hey Pokex, you going to the Pokemon League? Forget about it, you probably don't have any badges, the guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Um, a little bit. A Nido G. That looks so strange. Right, we're up to level 10. And out comes this Abomination Squirt Sword. Although, I think it actually looks quite good. Okay, we'll swap into Charmander. Ember is neutral. And one more should do it. Don't know why it just insists on growling else. Um, no point in any coffee cat. Beginner's luck. Whatever, you just got lucky. Those two Pokemon of yours do look like they could become strong eventually though. I'll be sure to watch out for those. Anyway, I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. Maybe I'll use some more DNA splices to combine my Pokemon. Make them stronger. i got plenty of them at the Mart. Here you can take one. We've literally just brought some. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Smell you later. Or we will smell you later. So what else can we find here? You know what, actually, I wouldn't mind catching a uh, male need around. No, I'm not really bothered about Vera. A Nido Tata. Ah, oh, that's, that's an abomination, that is. Can you get male need around here? Surely you can. Surely. Ooh, Mankey. Could get Primate. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch this one now. Unless it doesn't want to stay in purple. What is going on? You're in red health, Mankey. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to run around and see if I can find a man leader end, because could be here a while. And then what do you know, literally the first one. 
And okay, we'll scratch. Get hit with poison point, fantastic. And we're just gonna have to start throwing both balls. Oh my god, why didn't you just stay in your both ball? This time. There we go. So we've already got four members of the team. Uh, it doesn't matter if Charmander faints. Because we're just going to heal up anyway. Oh, didn't mean to press that. So let's have a look at DNA splices. What about Nidoran Mankey? Mm, no. We could have Mime and Nidoran, maybe. Um, I'm just trying to think. Poison Fairy wouldn't be a bad typing. Fighting fairy. The thing is, I need to kind of see what they're gonna look like. Right, we'll, we'll leave it for now, and um, <coughs> we'll just carry on. Did we go in this house? The gym next door is always locked. There must be something shady going on. You want to know about two kinds of cap in a Pokemon? Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch out for its poison sting. Does it tell you that in the normal games? I can't remember. Try going to the Pokemon League, but they won't let me move eight badges. Pidgey and I have a lot of training to do. You know what? I wouldn't mind catching a Pidgey, actually. Well, a Pidgey. Or a Pidgey. That is the one who came with Nidoran's nickname. The name could be better, but it grew on me. What is it? Midoran. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but clever nicknames can be challenging. Okay then, so... Heading up here to Viridian Forest. Bug type Pokemon are my passion. My favourite bug type move is Fury Cut Recourse. Do you know about Fury Cutter? It's a move that increases in power when you use it multiple times in a row. Um, no, I'm okay, thank you. I don't really want to know. So, is there going to be loads of bugs in here, I guess? Um, Ledian's not really something I'd want to use. Although, since there's so many bugs, it might be a good idea to do a bit of switch training. I suppose you could use a butterfree. Okay, we're going to end that. You know, I've decided actually, we are going to use this. We're gonna go Mime Junior and neither end. We'll go for the Poison Fairy type. Let's see what this abomination looks like. You know, actually, they don't look too bad. Nido Junior. Male Nidoran has developed muscles that freely move its ears in any direction. Once moving, the foe can cannot take its eyes off this Pokemon. Um. I don't know what I'd rather have. Um, yeah, Soundproof was rivalry in exactly the best. That's pretty cool though that you can select. And we'll just combine move sets. Tickle. Barry is not a bad thing to have actually. We'll get rid of Leah. Heck. He's going to be better than P 
pound because at least it can be super effective oh no I don't want to fuse let's have a look at the um, stats see so yeah, it's a special attacker maybe it's not the best of things to fuse them well, oh well um, carrying on Oh my god, a piddle. Ah, oh, so that would be a B drill Raichu. You know, I'm gonna try and catch this if I can. Somehow that's not very effective. Oh, it's poison type, isn't it? Poison electric. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. At least now we can just hit these with confusion. Though. This is a dead end, let's battle. A Metorna. It's a Metapod and a Kikuna. And we'll just play. Oh my god, that thing is tanky. Confusion is a lot more though. This Nido Jr. is a beast. One slam focus energy, no thank you. Just you wait until my Pokemon evolves. Are you lost? I'd love to help you, but I'm just as lost as you are. Hopefully, this can help a little. We got Petra Berry. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to catch our own. Pikachu, Beedrill. Combination. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Now let's try and catch it with some Pokeballs. God, this catch rate is ridiculous. I don't think we're gonna have enough Pokeballs. There we go. So we got three to catch a Weedle. Don't really want to venture too far because we might need to run back. Caterpie, you're not the bug that we want. Stay away. How hard is it to find a Weedle? This time? No, but there is a Pidgey. I wouldn't mind catching one of these. Now it's got to pray that you stay in your ball. Okay, you can just go in the team. We could have a flying primate. Right, there's our Weedle. We know confusion just absolutely shreds it, so. Throw some Pokeballs. Okay, and now we can use our DNA splices. P2. Weedle. I don't know what I want. Um, I suppose that would be the way to get an electric poison. Well, an electric bee. Mm. I think we're going to go this way because we've kind of already got a poison type. That doesn't actually look that bad, Weechu. A Weechu has an extremely acute sense of smell. When it is startled, it discharges power accidentally. That is tragic. Um, 
I think static will be better. And we'll just go neutral nature. Do we want to learn string shot? Probably not. And put the Pidgey in a Mankey. Although actually, we'll, we'll leave that one for now. So I think we're just going to end it there. Um, obviously next episode we'll make our way through Viridian Forest to arrive at Viridian City. Or um, no, not Viridian. We've just got from Viridian Pewter City, that's it. Where we'll have our first gym encounter with Brock. I'm assuming he's going to use fused Pokemon, so it's going to be pretty cool to see. But um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.